is going to be a very short and sweet session. So we are really excited to be here with you all. And I would like to introduce my friend, Gerard. Introduce yourself. Good morning, everybody. My name is Gerard Truesdale. I'm the co-founder of Crossroads Pathways to Success. I'm happy to be on here this morning. Hello. All right. And then Arturo, you want to introduce yourself? Yes, ma'am. Hey, everybody. Thanks again for joining us. Uh, my name is Arturo McKee. I am the other co-founder of Crossroads Pathways to Success. Um, and again, thanks for joining on the day. And we hope to get some uh, good feedback from you guys. All right. So I appreciate everybody joining, being on time. So the one thing we need for everyone to do, um, I know that we have multiple people on here. We have people who are interested in joining I'm a Queen, interested in joining Crossroads. Also, you may be interested just as a grandparent or you may just be a teacher on here to secure information about these organizations. So I am just asking for you all to drop in the chat your name, how old you are, and what city do you reside in? So your name, so your, your name, age, your age. Hold on. Okay. Your name, your age, and where do you reside? Because um, I'm a queen in Crossroads Rose. We are both um, located in Greensboro, North Carolina. So just trying to make sure that we know who's in the room. We got a heat check, everybody. So let me look at this chat. Okay, so we got Ayana. We got, okay, 17, 11. So we do take children up to from 10 to 18. So, okay. All right. Lord Jesus. Okay, so getting to... What we're trying to do, all right, so we got a few boys up in here, so we ask that you stay muted. We're going to give you an overview of both organizations. This is an opportunity for you to ask questions. If you feel comfortable dropping questions in the chat, or if you want, once we do Q&A, if you would like to unmute yourself, that is fine. This is a safe space for you to ask questions. Um, this is an opportunity for you to say, you know what, if I want my friend to join, you know, don't miss out. So I want us to be able to um, listen to Crossroads first. So they're a male mentoring organization. So Gerard, he is going to give his overview. And I think Arturo, are you gonna jump in as well? Yep, we'll kind of All right. So we're going to spot spotlight Gerard, and he is going to give y'all a few, give y'all some more information about his program. All right. Good morning, everybody. And uh, thank you for getting online today. Again, my name is Gerard Truesdale. I'm the co-founder of Crossroads Pathways to Success. Uh, Arturo McKee is on the line. He's the other co-founder. Um, Arturo and I started this program in 2009, being two men from Greensboro, from the Greensboro community and after graduating from college, we wanted to do something positive uh, for upcoming youth, uh, specifically high school males in Greensboro. Um, at Crossroads, we focus on different strategies, such as developing your career objective, interview skills, impression management, business and dining etiquette, drug prevention, and personal and professional etiquette as well. We believe that learning things at home, that learning things that, that you don't necessarily learn at home or at school, you know, makes the program what it is. We meet twice a month from about 11 o'clock to two o'clock and focus on going on different field trips, uh, really, really experiential opportunities and exposure for young teenagers in the, in the city. Um, over since 2009, we've helped over 110 students get to college and we currently have a 100% college acceptance rate. Um, we were also in the process of growth. We just moved to a new facility at the Greensboro Boys and Girls Club. And we're in the process now focusing on mental health and college tours for the fall coming up. Our purpose here today is to gain more students into the program. Uh, we're, we're always looking to help the youth here in Greensboro. Being two young men from Greensboro, Arturo and I are just trying to help as many youth as we can get on the right path to success. Uh, there's gonna be a point in life in high school where you're gonna realize that a lot of the people that you're around aren't gonna mean much to you in the future. Um, you're gonna wanna start making strategies for your, for your future, getting in line for college and getting yourself in position to be competitive from the educational, personal, and just overall decency point of view. 
I'll let Arturo add on to a little bit of that and we'll uh, have more information for you later on. Absolutely. And, and Gerard did a great job of kind of summarizing up kind of what our program's about. Um, we are free service, um, free of charge. We meet twice a month. Uh, every other Saturday is usually our schedule. We like to keep um, the students in the classroom, but we also um, really feel that getting out into the world and seeing things and, and getting that exposure to local businesses, local business owners, uh, having an opportunity for our students to actually see uh, what success looks like and see people that look like them in successful positions. Um, you know, over the past 10 years, we really feel that that's super important um, when kind of determining the career path and, and getting ideas out there uh, to our students. Uh, as well, like Gerard was saying, our, our core focus is really our college preparation or a plan after high school to make sure each one of our students has a plan and has prepared. Um, financial literacy in 2022 is going to be one of our main topics um, that we're going to focus on just to um, set bank accounts and make sure all of our students are aware of, of um, all the options out there for them um, regarding paying for college and, and paying for life after college and just really uh, life skills. Um, you know, Gerard touched on, we like to focus on um, non-formal education topics that you don't necessarily get in high school in a formal setting, but are vital to success. Um, so that's kind of, you know, a, a good summary of our program. Again, it's a free program. Um, right now we are having open enrollment. So our, one of our initiatives this year is to increase our enrollment. Uh, and that's one of the reasons that we wanted to reach out to everyone today and, and just let um, whoever may know, whether it's a son or a friend or, you know, a, a child of someone you may know that may be able to benefit uh, from our program. We just are trying to spread the word and, and get, um, Get every make everybody aware that there is a, a a free program out there for middle and high school men to attend. So again, um, we'd be happy to answer any questions that you guys have. But that's just kind of a brief overview of our program and uh, what you could expect if you are a member. All right, um, Gerard, is your is your guy on, or do we need to go back to him later? We'll probably. Be, I don't think Xavier's going to log on for another few minutes. I'm not sure if he's on yet, but I'll uh, make sure he's on when we circle back. Okay. All right. So I will. So now I'm next. <laughs> all right, everybody. So, okay. So thank you all. Well, thank you, Crossroads, for giving an overview of your program. So really excited that you all signed up today, even if um, someone that you know who has signed up, they did not join the Zoom. I'm still going to send out the application after the set after this session, and it will be for I'm a Queen and for Crossroads. And please note, Crossroads is for the boys. I'm a Queen will be for the girls. <laughs> Just in case somebody gets confused. Okay, um, if you are interested in being a mentor, I will put the contact link for Crossroads in that message as well. So you can sign up with them if you would like to volunteer or be a mentor for them, okay? All right, so when it comes down to I'm a queen, and first of all, I do wanna shout out my VP, Chanel Foster. She is on, and I think one of our board members, Janelle Jordan, and then my friend, Thomas Clockfeather, he is on. He's a big supporter of I'm a Queen. So I really appreciate you all for being here. And some of our kids are on here as well from I'm a Queen. So really happy about that. But I'm a Queen, we are a year-round mentoring program for girls ages 10 through 18 in Gifford County. So we pretty much... We pretty much help girls between Greensboro and High Point. We do have one team who actually resides in Fayetteville, but her mom is an Aggie, so she does travel up here when we do have activities. Um, so the program that we are doing membership intake for is our uh, Queen Arise Leadership Program. So this program is centered around helping you to become future leaders, instilling you confidence to help you to be able to pursue different opportunities, um, such as like becoming SGA president, helping you to lead other organizations, or just mainly helping you to be able to set goals and helping you to be able to achieve those goals. And the reason why I really love Crossroads program is because their, their program aligns with 
what we're trying to do. So everything that we're doing for leadership and confidence and helping you to be able to go to college and just being prepared, that aligns with everything that I'm a queen is about because we believe in education. We believe that you should be engaged, but we also believe that you should be empowered as well. Um, some of the initiatives that falls under our mentoring program and I think somebody's unmuted, but anyway, some of the initiatives that falls under the mentoring program is our teen empowerment conference, community forums. So we've done community forums such as the um, what's happening to our black girls, uh, the fatherless daughters community forum. So we've done forums around that. We have a STEM boot camp, so that's something that we'll do like in the summertime. And we have a girl boss, excuse me, girl boss academy where we teach girls how to become entrepreneurs, but also teaching them about financial literacy. So we want to teach you about stocks, investments. We want to teach you how to secure the bag. Seriously. Like we want, we want you to have money in your pocket, but learn how to keep it. We also want you to be prepared for college. So those are some key things about us. And we are a huge advocate for girls understanding your body. We believe in fitness. We believe in health. We believe in you understanding what's going on because if your body's not right, you can't be a good leader. So it's really important that you take care of your body, but you also take care of your mental health. So we believe that counselors are essential for both of these programs. And I would love to see in the future um, mental health counselors being funded to be able to provide services to our girls within I'm a Queen. And lastly, so I'm a queen, we are known for our community service initiatives, meaning. So when we do community service, we are known for our back to school event that takes place at the Windsor Center every August. We do a winter drive for the homeless for MLK holiday. We also do an ultimate Christmas adoption program where we adopt uh, families for Christmas and senior citizens. So we are very instrumental in staying consistent by serving the community. Girls in this program usually, before the pandemic, girls in this program usually um, receive up to 350 hours of community service hours. And that's a good thing, especially when you're trying to apply for college and you want to be able to uh, get those scholarships or you want a good recommendation. So those are the opportunities that you wanna be a part of. Our program is free. However, your attendance is required. So if you start missing up to like maybe two to three sessions, you pretty much are going to forfeit your membership. So I'm a queen. We only do membership intake one time a year. So we technically only do in intake in the month of January, whereas Crossroads, they do membership intake every month. So I'm a queen. We only allow up. To, we only allow girls to join us. Um, starting in the month of January, because once we get started, this program moves very fast. It moves very quickly. There are a lot of opportunities for you to be able to participate in. However, if you miss sessions or if you miss opportunities, now I have a very clear understanding if you are sick, we get that. We understand this climate. I also understand if you have opportunities where you need to take your SAT or your ACT. So things like that do arise, they do come up. So I'm very understanding with that and you will be able to catch up. However, your attendance is key. And you also have to have some type of passion or some type of desire to want to serve the community. So like I said, we only do intake once a year. Our program is hybrid right now, meaning the first part of the year is going to be virtual due to the uptick with the coronavirus. And also we'll go in person towards the spring when it gets a little bit warmer. So that's where we're at. So now I'm going to have one of our teens, Ayana. She is going to she is going to share her experience in Iron Queen. I, one thing I would love to say about her, ever since 2020, when I tell you her and her sister have been so consistent in Iron Queen to the point, when we've gone from virtual to in-person, they are literally at every session. So she is a great advocate to tell you what she likes about Iron Queen. So go ahead. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm Ayana. Um, so I, I'm reading off a of paper so that I can remember what I'm saying. But um, since I started I'm a Queen in 2020, 
I have attended over 23 events. Each session, I gave valuable lessons and so much knowledge, and I learned so much about myself. I learned ways to be more confident, unique, and authentic. My top five I Am A Queen sessions were content creation, where I learned editing using the Wii Video app, Wellness Week, where I learned meditations, affirmations, eliminating stress, and Zumba. I suffer from anxiety, so I learned different ways to manage my stress. I attended college application prep, Queens Who Code camp, and that one was meaningful for me because of my aspiration to pursue a computer science degree. And last, the I Matter Teen Empowerment Conference. I did painting with the word I am, surrounding that word with empowering words to describe myself. I also learned about leadership, and one example is the Community Service Project, where we created feminine care packages to deliver to the IRC. Most importantly, it's the leadership of Ms. Alana. She has taught me that it's all about mindset. You say it, you believe it, you work for it, it will come true. Amen. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate you for doing that. Um, all right. Thank you, Ayana. All right. So in the future, um, Crossroads and I'm a Queen, we are planning to do some community service initiatives together. And we also want to do more together as far as collaboration. So you will see that in the future. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring up Gerard and also uh, spotlight Xavier so that he's able to introduce him. Um, okay. all right, hold on. You know, stuff happens. Okay, Xavier. I saw his name pop up. Yeah, Xavier Dawkins. You asked me how you guys doing today? <clears throat> I'll introduce you in a quick sec, Xavier. Thanks for getting on. Um, everybody who's on this current call, uh, Xavier Dawkins is a uh, young man currently uh, who has been in the Crossroads program for going on three years. He was one of the youngest students to ever join the program. I believe he came in the end of sixth grade, early seventh grade, and he's uh, never missed a session. He's contributed. He's uh, told other students in the community about the program, and we can kind of see that the, the core values and, and crossroads and really build upon this young man. That's why Arturo and I asked him to uh, come on today. So just want to introduce Xavier Dawkins, and thanks, Xavier. I think he has to turn his camera on for me to spotlight him. All right, hold on. Okay. Got it. Thank you. You can go ahead. Uh, yeah, but um, how you guys doing today? My name is Xavier, and uh, Crossroads is an amazing organization. They always have something, I'm not going to say something fun to do, because, you know, helping the community doesn't have to be fun. It's about the way you do it. We've had turkey drives. We've had, um, we had other, we've had clothing drives, I believe. It's um, a really good way to outreach and see what other people in your community are doing. You know, it's a good way to hang out if that's what you're into, or you can um, get service hours from this. I know that. And we always have something, we always, you know, Sometimes we go out to eat or we'll talk about etiquette or we'll have somebody from another field teach us about what they do so we can possibly get interested and see what career paths or steps we would take to get to that career path that the person was introducing to us. I remember one time we had a NBA, uh, what's it called? Not um, like the person who helps like the people make the deals. I forgot what it's uh, agent. an agent. Yes, an agent. And he came into us and talked about all the players he's worked with and how he did it and what people like us could do to be like him. And that was really amazing. We had a, what, we had an airline technician. He worked on planes. He flew planes in the Army. And he came in and talked to us about how to get into the avionics field. And that was also a really cool meeting. Uh, yeah, just making sure we take the right career steps to get to where we want to go. That's right. Thanks, Xavier. You're welcome. All right, thank you, Xavier. Um, so now we want to open it up. I'm gonna put it on gallery view. I don't know if that makes a difference. So anyway, 
Um, we're going to open it up for you all to be able to ask questions. You can ask questions if you're a teen interested in joining or if you're a mentor or a parent. So we have 46 people on here. So I'm sure somebody has a question. <laughs> and you're free to unmute yourself or drop it in the chat, okay? Good afternoon. Are we starting now to ask questions? Yes. Hey, Tanisha. <laughs> was, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. So I'm Tanisha. I currently reside in Greensboro. My friend Passion is the one that told me about this Um. Uh, about what's going on she has two daughters already in the I am a queen program mm -hmm. I just have a question as far as crossroads is concerned my son is 15 I would like to sign him up he just needs some type of focus like something to believe in. he's not a bad kid or whatever he is going in the wrong direction so I know that the guys said they focus on you know things they want to do outside of high school you know once high school is over and things like that do they focus on things that's like that he can start now in high school, you know what I'm saying? Rather right. than wait until he's done with high school. He's a um, sophomore or whatever. He did awesome his freshman year, but his sophomore year is kind of rocky right now. So I'm just trying to get him a hold on something. You know, now maybe if, you know, God willing, he can do up until he finishes high school. I don't want him to right. wait and just focus on things outside of high school. That's my That's question. Great. And yeah, so um, Crossroads is, is a mentorship program as well. So not only do we kind of focus on the educational aspect, but a, a big focus of ours is actually mentoring our students. Um, so we work with them throughout high school um, to figure out kind of what issues that they're having, how we can problem solve um, to prepare them for college. But um, our core focus is what you can do in high school to prepare you for life after so absolutely we work with our students on whatever they need we just ask that they are able to communicate that to us and that's something that we work on with them is their communication as far as you know letting people know your needs and, and kind of things that will help you um and asking for help so yes to answer your question we work on all of that we just kind of have a one-on-one -on -one sit down with, with each student and kind of fill them out see Kind of what's going on and what mentor may be best suited for them regarding kind of getting them on that right path like you were saying and just to okay, tap cool. on what arturo said um thanks a lot for your question again part of the intake process for crossroads is us um kind of meeting with the parent talking with the parent to determine what it, you know exactly the state of the child what exactly is going on or what we can do to help them in an area outside of you know academics so towards like arturo said mentorship so yeah, that's a major big piece of Crossroads trying to fill that that void and that gap of any th types of things that may need to be implemented from a mentorship perspective. Um, over the last 12 years, a lot of the students that come to Crossroads, you know, they might not have a positive male figure in their life to even talk to in the first place, or they may be dealing with issues at school uh, with other people or just in general. And we've always had an, held an open line out to the students to contact us whenever to talk about that, and, and many have over the years. Okay, and when y'all talk to the guys, right? It's my last question. I'm sorry, I won't take up nobody's time. When we all talk to the um to these young men, do y'all shoot straight forward or do y'all sugarcoat things? You know, most people try to sugarcoat it, or do y'all come like straight forward? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Not um, trying to be mean or rude, but you know, let them know like what it right, is and what right. it's not. You know. Um, yeah. Absolutely, and one of the one of the things that we've or one of the reasons we started our program was um, because we understand how it is to be a black man um you know not only in america but in greensboro specifically and, um you know we shoot straight you know we don't we don't have time in the sense to waste um so we let everyone that comes in the program know that you know if you're not serious about you know changing your life and and and, and setting up goals and, and being a part of the process, then this may not be the right program for you because we are very direct. Um, and, you know, because we can relate to them, uh, our students respect us as, you know, positive male role models. So it's never anything disrespectful or anything like that. But if they're not doing well in school, we'll let them know if you keep getting D's in school, you're never going to, you know, be successful and you're it's going to be very hard for you to get into college. So yes, we definitely 
um, shoot straight because that's that's kind of a, a reason why we started our program was to not be another just uh, enabler in a sense um, because that's what we've noticed a lot of our students kind of suffer from is um, you know being enabled and not necessarily getting that truth told to them. So yes, ma'am, that's something that we definitely. Focus okay, on. thank you, thank you for that. Yes, ma'am. Awesome responses. Um, so in the chat, it says, how often does I'm a queen meet? So right now, we will be meeting twice a month, except for the month of July. That's when we do our team conference. Um, is I'm a queen divided into age groups? Okay. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. So it depends on the curriculum. This year, I don't think we're the... Um, we're separating the age groups, but it just depends on how this pandemic um, pans out. I mean, that, so pretty much like last year, we separate our, our groups by 10 to, 10 to 13 to 14 to 18, because that was like two different topics. Well, it was the same topic, but different groups. But due to us being hybrid, we are going to, the virtual piece is going to be more on mental health meditation understand your body so that's going to be more like together and then once we go into the in-person we will see about that um what does the intake process include for iron queen so we were we're going to send you an application then you'll get a welcome letter and then there'll be a welcome session that's going to go over all of the sessions for 2021 so you would know exactly what your schedule is literally by january 28th so that is when we will literally start like telling you and then you'll hear from me a lot. So we'll be friends and we'll be texting each other and you'll be talking to me and I'll be talking to your mom or your dad or your guardian. Um, are the meetings virtual and on Saturdays? Yes, I'm a queen meets on Saturdays. I work full time in North Carolina A&T. Same thing for Crossroads. They have full time positions as well. So we meet on Saturdays. Um, Oh, did I mess up the year? <laughs> 2022. All right, thank you. The application will come out via email. It will come out through the Eventbrite um, platform. So wherever you register for, it'll come out that way. And if you don't, do not receive it, then you can email me at info at imqueen.org. And I will also be sending out Crossroads um, application as well. Let me see. Are there any... Lean C for teens that work on Saturdays and can't make the meetings. So Miss Charlotte, if they cannot make the meetings, that means for I'm a queen. If they cannot make the meetings, that means they're going to miss a lot of stuff. So that means they're going to forfeit their time being an I'm a queen because they won't know what's going on and what I'm talking about. Go ahead, Gerard. Just to tap in with that, um, for Crossroads, we, you know, we do when our, on our days that we have field trips, we ask for the students to be there. But we, what we do is. Um, make our program accessible via Zoom, um, whether if it's a guest speaker or a Zoom workshop itself that day, that's a new initiative for 2022 is to uh, make the workshops available for students to attend, you know, from, from remotely, so. Got it. Are there any more questions? Yes, this is a coach or Diaco. Hey. I'm hey, how you doing? Good. <laughs> I'm Maddox Niako's mom, and I heard about this great organization from my sister, Janelle Jordan, as well as my niece and my nephew. And I am wanting to know the age. He's 10 right now, fifth grade. So is he in the realm of, I guess, the Crossroads program for mentorship? Uh, early, early as we like to start, the students have started at about 11, 12 years old. Um, so maybe one more. What what grade is he currently in? Oh, he'll be 11 uh, February. So okay. And, and so what grade is he in? He's fifth. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I believe we could have him come join. Um, what, what do you think, Arturo? Yeah. Yep. I mean, I, I, he'll be going into middle school next year, and that's typically around the age that we uh, start taking on students. So it wouldn't be a problem to get him in a little early. Right. Yeah, early. No problem at all. Okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. All right, let me see. Um, uh, KJ says they would like to join Crossroads. I don't, hey, KJ. Um, <laughs> Reandra, 
with everything being virtual, how does I'm a Queen encourage social connections during this time? So we are with virtual. Um, we are pretty interesting on virtual. So we have a really group, really good group of girls um, during the sessions. And the one thing about us, we are very hyper. So we talk a lot. We have a lot of fun on virtual. We don't stay long on virtual. Uh, <laughs> the times that we are able to come together is usually, let's say you need to pick up something from us, like a membership packet or some, like some type of gift from us. We like to do curbside pick up. So that's opportunities for you to be able to engage with people. But a lot of times it is about coming together and being safe. And there are opportunities for that. And we would try to do it in the most safest way for your family. So usually on virtual, we, we haven't seen any problems. We haven't seen people like our girls not wanting to talk to each other. There are times when we've done cooking sessions and during the cooking session, one of the girls started crying because her stuff wasn't working. So next, you know, everybody jumped in and we started encouraging her that she could do it. And at the end, she was able to achieve it. So it's all about us being a network of sisters and just encouraging each other and loving each other so you're going to get a lot of social <laughs> interaction uh let me see uh Renee hey Renee Kayla oh Kayla's the one she's my hype queen she she keeps me going all right yes Thomas Miss Alana likes to play Beyonce during cooking sessions I do I do we've made tacos and pizza so I'm trying to figure out what's next maybe we can bake a cake um <laughs> <laughs> you know we never know all right um any more questions <laughs> i think that's many <laughs> any more questions before uh we close out for today i have a question i'm sorry <laughs> no, don't say you're sorry this is an opportunity okay this is tanisha again you're, you're once my daughter starts because she's 11 going on 12 this year is there any way for maybe i can um set up her email so when anything happens virtual like a meeting she'll get it on her phone versus my phone being as i'm always getting calls you can do that but the one thing i will say is um a lot of times when i first start so every time i do a session i'm literally texting the parent and the child so i'm talking okay. to you i'm talking to her I'm talking a whole lot. So the whole entire interaction is going to be a lot. So it's okay. either way you want to do it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Okay. All right. Um, teach us how. My dad said that he can teach y'all how to bake some cookies. Cortez, who is your daddy a chef? Yes. Okay. Cortez's daddy is a chef. All right. Well, email me some information on how your daddy can make some cookies. He owns a cookie company. Okay. I hope these cookies are from scratch. All right. Any more questions or any questions about being a mentor or fundraisers? Do we do fundraisers? Yes. Both I'm the Queen and Crossroads does fundraisers um, year round. <laughs> And we're always seeking funding. <laughs> so, um, oh God, y'all have got my kids started about these cookies. All right. Okay. So yes, we do fundraisers, fundraisers and we always encourage the parents to support these programs. Amen. <laughs> nope. 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 And just to add, if any, anybody else looking at this and viewing Crossroads, if you have any friends or family members who may have a, a young man interested in joining our program, um, you know, we can be reached on our website, Facebook, Instagram. It's, it's not too hard to find us. So we really appreciate that. Absolutely. Got it. Um, May says, when does the I'm a Queen program start? It will start on January 28th. That will be your first day of really coming into the program and meeting everybody else who has been in the program. All right. I'm trying to see. It looks like we're good. Okay. Well, please expect an email from uh, from me 
that will include all the information together. Gerard, if you have anything that you want to close with, or did you cover everything? Or Arturo? Yeah, that was pretty much my closing right there. But again, thank you. Thanks, everybody, for your time today. Uh, we're excited about going into year 13, and Arturo and I are here to help young men and reach out to us. Yep. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. And yes, um, Michaela, I will play Beyonce on January 28th. Thank you. Thank you all and have a great Saturday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.